Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Keeping Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, a concept that you guys are probably here to learn about and that's duckweed and you're probably going to come and get a bit of my opinion on duckweed and I'm going to give you the, the good and the bad um, associated with having duckweed in an aquarium. So make sure you stay around to the end of the video to listen to all the information I'm going to give you. Uh, I hope you guys find this video really good. I know it's been a while, like it's been like I think four months since I made my last YouTube video and that's for a few reasons, so I just have decided to have a little bit of a break from it. Um, it takes a long time to make YouTube videos uh, if you guys uh, have a channel you'd understand. But look, I'm looking to get back into keeping fish properly again and helping you guys out with all your aquariums. I really enjoy it and I think it's a really good um, hobby for your zen and just to take a moment and take a break from life. So. Um, I think today we're going to be talking about duckweed because um, obviously when you leave your aquariums for a bit of time uh, and you take a bit of time off, duckweed and all your plants will grow, overgrow, but duckweed will grow the like the most. Like duckweed grows so quick, I'm emptying that stuff out of my aquarium every week, and there's a really thick layer on uh, my little 40 liter shrimp and and guppy aquarium, and I'm going to show you guys that, but. Um, yeah, sorry for not uploading and I hope you guys are still around and still watching my videos and um, without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the aquarium I'm talking about now. If you're wondering what duckweed is, you'll pretty much be able to recognize it by looking at it, but that green stuff on the top of your aquarium, all those little tiny leaves, that's called duckweed. Now, if you've never seen duckweed before, um, well, that's what it looks like, but you'll commonly see it in most fish stores. So if a fish... Pretty much, I'm going to explain it like this. So, I remember when I first started in the hobby, um, I was watching Dustin's Fish Tanks, and Dustin's Fish Tanks was talking about duckweed as the herpes of aquariums. Now, what he meant when he said that was pretty much the second your aquarium gets it, it's never going to get rid of it. So, um, <clears throat> and that goes for spreading it as well. So, if you've got multiple tanks and you don't want duckweed, but you want it in one tank, I'm telling you, that's going to be an absolutely awful um, venture it's going to be really tricky to keep that duckweed um, <clears throat> in that single aquarium. It's very, very tricky uh, because duckweed pretty much, when it dries out, like even this stuff up here, if you can kind of see that, um, all that dry, crusty stuff, when it gets wet again, can actually grow back. So if you put duckweed in an aquarium, you've got to settle in for the long run. and You've also got to accept the fact that it's probably going to get in most of your other aquariums. Now, duckweed, I think... I like duckweed personally. I think it's an awesome plant. Um, I think it's good for a, a few reasons. And the first reason is that it's all, it's awesome at taking out all the bad nutrients in your aquariums. So obviously when fish like my little guppies and stuff, they, ex, um, they poop. Um, when that stuff's breaking down, uh, there's, there's pretty much a whole entire cycle. Uh, it's called the nitrate si nitrogen cycle, I think. And I'm not going to go into depth on that, but... Pretty much, the plants use all the bad stuff that kills the fish. So if you have a plant that grows really quick, like duckweed in your aquarium, then um, the the amount of the bad like nitrates and stuff in the water goes down dramatically. So it's a really good natural filter for keeping the aquarium clean. Now it doesn't mean you can't not clean the aquarium, but it means that you, your aquarium can go longer without being clean, and it'll also stay very, very balanced, much easier. So you won't have many fluctuations in um, chemicals in the aquarium, and you'll also get a really good balance of um, life in the fish tank. So uh, that's one reason that I like it, and the other reason is that if you've got big fish, so obviously not little endler guppies and stuff like this, but I keep it in my angelfish aquarium. Now, I didn't feed my angelfish for about a week and a half, and that's really bad on me, but I was away, and the angelfish were kicking on fine. Like, they, had, they hadn't lost any weight, and they, um, they were all in really good nick, and the one reason for that was that, the, um, that they had been eating the duckweed the whole time that I was away. So, it acts as also a natural food source. Now, you can't obviously rely on duckweed to be feeding your fish, but it does do a really, really good job at um, acting as a food source for the fish. So those are the two main reasons. Um, appealingly, like it can look good in some aquariums. Sometimes it looks really messy. It depends how you keep it. Like personally, I don't even notice it um, in my aquariums anymore because I've gotten so used to it. But I remember when I first noticed it, I thought it looked a bit like yucky, like 
I'm gonna take this top off, but like when I first got it, I thought it looked a bit yucky like a pond, but over time it does, um, you do get used to it and you'll also get cool like little regrowths, like, let's see if I can focus in on that. But like you'll get cool little um, things coming through your aquarium, like these um, plants obviously trying to come to that light and growing out of the water. But yeah, like I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love reading in the comments. Um, I probably learned the most in the hobby from your guys' comments. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave something down below um, if there's some information I left out so that I can tell everyone else uh, in future videos and I can learn myself. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.